You tell a nigga he can't do something, he don't go and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it just it just uh adds fuel to the fire. You know what I'm saying? But uh what's the goddamn deal? Welcome to Recognize Real, it's your boy G B. So today we're gonna get back on track. I'm gonna call my boy E. Um but before that I got some some random things for you. I got them on my phone right here. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll show y'all, uh, let me turn that down a little bit. I'm going to show y'all what I uh, got from my boy, some good sound bites. But um, first thing I want to say is uh, one of the hardest soundtracks to a movie. I, I even think it's still in there to this day. I got to ask John. Well, no, nah, I bet it's probably down. But I bet he still got the CD in the Kia. <clears throat> But anybody knows me or has known me for a long time, that Purple Rain soundtrack, hard, that whole hard, oh my God, like, you got Purple Rain, of course, let me see, off the top of my head, Purple Rain is one of the hardest songs on that hoe, but there's one on there called The Beautiful Ones, he goes, do you want him, or do you want me? Cause I want you. Oh, he kills now. Let's go crazy. Look, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go through. It's only nine songs. I'm gonna just go through, like the first couple seconds of them. Let's go crazy. Hey, okay, okay. This is What y'all know about this? Hey, this is one of the hardest soundtracks. You know, and the reason the reason I'm bringing this up is because I forgot. I'm sorry, Prince. I'm sorry, bro. But I forgot. I, I forgot where I came from. You know what I'm saying? And my boy reminded me recently because he said, I think this is last night, he said he was driving home. And uh, he, he that hoe came on and made him think of me. I was like, oh, man, like. I ain't even thought about that me in a while. Like, hey, that used to be because I used to party back in the day, like in my early 20s. I used to party hard. And, you know, sometimes a nigga would drive 
a little under the weather. And whenever I, not under the weather, but under the influence. And uh, I'd pop that bitch in. And uh, that would be my get home song. Like my get home album. Jam that hoe. It got me home every time. I'm still here. Still standing. Still strong. Still alive. Never got no shit. And I like to think it's because of Prince. So I appreciate you, Prince. Thank you, man. R.I.P. Uh, you know what's crazy? I heard. Oh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Hold on. Hold on. What else we got? Computer blue. Wendy? This one of the yes, like Lisa. the whole thing jams. This is probably water like water. not. This is one of the songs that isn't that good on it, but it still jams, if that makes sense. Like, this is one of my least favorite songs from this bitch. And this fucking cover is hard. As a matter of fact, this is going to be the cover. That's going to be the cover of, the, of, this, of this episode. But we got Darling Nikki. Everybody know this song. <laughs> Everybody knows that hoe. I will die for you. Hold up. Baby, I'm a star. Man, shout out to Prince, bro. R.I.P. And then you got this motherfucker right here. Hold on, I'm going to skip to the best part. Oh, that part. If I could sing, I'd never talk. I would just approach women and just start singing like Chris Brown in that one video. What up, girl? And that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, man, that whole shit jam. I don't, I don't know what made me, possess me. I just felt like I needed to tell y'all this in case nobody's ever heard this soundtrack. That whole is fire. But, uh, yeah, you know what's crazy? When I was working at this uh, gymnastics place, one of the higher ups came in with a box of fucking CDs. And he was like, I'm throwing these away. Pick from them. I was like, hold on, let me see what you got. He had Metallica CD that I grabbed and this one. All the other ones were trash, but he had a Metallica. Which one? I think it was the one with uh, Enter Sandman and all that shit on there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was he's like, you gonna throw these away? Give me them shits. So I grabbed them two shits and the rest is history. So shout out to Prince. Shout out to the Purple Rain mix, uh, mixtape. Soundtrack, man. If you ain't seen Purple Rain, it's a good movie. Uh, there's a scene that I didn't remember. I must have, like, repressed it. <laughs> well, last time I watched that, he slapped the shit out of, what's her name, Apollonia. I was like, whoa. I didn't remember that. He's just a product. I'm not saying it's okay he slapped him, but he was a product of his environment. Um, That wasn't even on my list. That wasn't even on my list. Let's see what we got. Mm. Oh. I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, there are some ghetto-ass white people out there, people. There's some white folk with some soul out there. You know, I remember I went to Denny's with my niggas one time, and we had a young white lady as our waitress, and she had some, some hood in her, and... Me and my one nigga was like, we just took it in stride. You know, we just accept everybody as they are. But when she walked away, my other homie was like, why the fuck is she talking to us like that, bro? <laughs> you think she's talking to us like that? I'm like, no, I think she's really like that. You know what it was? I think it's because me and my boy, that's the Denny's we always go to. And we've had her multiple times. So we were just we just knew that's what she was. But the nigga was like, why do you think? You think she's talking to us like that because she's black? There's some white folk with some soul out here, people. There's some white people. This there might be a white person blacker than you, my nigga, in here. You know what I'm saying? So, I just felt like I needed to tell y'all that. Um, what else we got? Perspective. How how do I want to put this? Something that you hate about yourself, someone might wish they had that. Um, 
I feel like you should never look at what people have. That's not what I meant. You should never look at what people have and be like, I wish they had that. Because they're probably looking at you thinking the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the, what's the, the grass is always greener. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be happy with what you got. Because what you got, someone else wishes they had. You know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like I need to, needed to say that. I feel like that's important. Like, love what you got. Don't, don't ever, don't ever look at someone else's life and wish that was yours because you don't know. It might look all pretty and shit over there, but you don't know. It might not be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been seeing a lot of, I've been hearing a lot, and I, and I fell victim to this too, but, <clears throat> the shit on social media, that's a good ass movie. The shit on social media is fake as fuck, people. All the bitches are bad. All the food looks good. All the blunts are fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, people only post the good on social media. And you, you, you look at this shit and you're like, man, I wish I had that life. Like, one, you can have whatever life you want. You just gotta. Your reality is your mentality. Oh, hold up. Bars. Hold on. Do I have a bars thing? I think I do. I'm going to say it again. Your reality is your mentality. Oh, shit. That's not the right one. <laughs> That's not it. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't have it. But <laughs> your reality is your mentality, people. You Not only are you capable of living whatever life you want to live, but... I, I honestly believe, and and this is this is partly why I played that song too, because uh, I honestly believe that once you set your mind to something and you manifest it and you say it out loud, the fucking universe bends to the will of what you want. Shit starts falling into place, and it's crazy. It's fucking crazy whenever you realize it and you start seeing it it's kind of scary but you gotta like let let the tide take you you know what i'm saying so whatever you want for yourself you are the only thing stopping you from getting it and if you're sitting on your phone looking at other people's lives getting depressed over that shit that's gonna be a reality depression and sadness from whatever you're seeing uh so while i'm on the subject of your mentality affects your reality. I want to say shout out to all the people out there fucking getting it, bro. People out there trying to make their shit happen, making their businesses flourish, living their dreams, traveling, whatever you want to do. Like, I'm on that same shit, and my niggas is on that same shit. Shout out to the tribe. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on the same page, and we all trying to elevate. So everybody that's out there leveling up, Shout out to you, man. Like, I, I, I went and uh, deleted a lot of people off my IG just because, one, like, they don't be liking shit. They don't be talking to a nigga and shit. And, like, what's the point? Like, I don't give a fuck about your kid's first day of school and shit. Unless I do. You know what I'm saying? Unless we cool. But, like... I've been keeping the people that I see are out there getting it because when I'm scrolling through my shit, I'm not hating on nobody. I'm loving what I'm seeing and just making me want to do my shit even more. So shout out to all the people out there getting it, bro. Shout out to everybody out there who are waking up and realizing that they want to do something and doing it. Like, it's never too late. I don't care if you 70 years old, nigga, go out and do whatever, whatever you've been wanting to do for them 70 years, go out and do that shit, bro. It makes me so happy seeing everybody doing what they need to do and living life and 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 being successful. Like it, it's it's crazy to me. Like you can look at something like that and you can feel one of two things: jealousy, which is stupid. I heard something uh, recently in a book. It said jealousy is the only poison that kills the user. <laughs> like what? That's deep. Jealousy is the only poison that kills the user so if i'm if i got a bottle of jealousy and i decide to use it on someone i'm gonna get fucked up that's deep but uh i can't think of the other word but 
you can either be jealous or it can give you motivation. That's what I think it is. Like, I see this shit. I see people doing that shit, and that shit make me hype. Not only am I going to post your shit on my story, but it's going to make me fucking turn around and record a pod or write something or, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to them, like, for real. And keep keep grinding. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because I love it. I fucking love it. I'm a self-made millionaire. Fuck the public. Hold on. I want to. Keep doing that shit. Whatever it is. Whatever that shit. Whatever your whatever your it is, keep doing it. I'm so proud of y'all. Who like. And if you're not, hey, it's not too late. Get that shit. Hit me up for motivation. Hit up your people who are doing this shit for motivation. The accountability buddies are real. I got a bunch. I got a bunch. So shout out to my nigga John. He keep me accountable too. You know what I'm saying? I, I usually come. He's my idea guy. I usually come whenever I have an idea with a story or something I want to do with the pod. I holler at my nigga John and he'll tell me, yo, that's live. Do it. Or he'll be like, yo, that's fucking stupid. But then he'll come up with a <laughs> he'll come up with a fucking way to make it better. So shout out to that nigga too. Shout out to all my niggas, really. I fuck with all y'all. Um, Yeah, yeah. What was that? Perspective. What else we got? Uh... Oh, everything else is just random thoughts that I've gathered over the week. Uh, To people who are at the red light in the turning lane, like if you're trying to turn right and shit, people who aren't turning, sometimes I understand, you know, you get caught up, you're not paying attention, and you end up there. But for the people who don't even fucking think about that shit, like I've been guilty of it, but I'm like, oh, damn, I'm an asshole. Because this nigga trying to turn and I'm going straight. For the people who don't even realize that, fuck you. Special place in hell for people like you. Learn how to drive. Um, I got called racist. And I'm sure he was joking. But I was like, like <laughs> I call people homes. I, I always have. Like, what's up, homes? How you been, homes? And I said, what's up, homes, to this one dude. And he was like, are you saying that to me because I'm Hispanic? I was like, no. <laughs> I just said, it kind of takes it back to the to the white people. Like, no, I, that's just how I talk. Like, I say dude, too. And I say dude to everybody. I go, what's up, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just say dude to white people. Like, I thought that shit was funny. And fuck that guy. <laughs> uh, what else? I had another random thought. Oh. Children, babies, their good way, how am I trying to say this? A good way to know that you're vibing right or your energy is like where it needs to be and you're, you're, you know, you're, I feel like the way children look at you is a good way to interpret that. Let me explain. I was in a Walmart at work the other day (laughs) and I walked past this lady and her baby and the baby like looked at me and he was like, he started like, (laughs) he started like squinting like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? When he looked at me and that just let me know like my aura right, baby, my aura right. He was like, fuck, he needed some of these. He's like, damn, that nigga shit is bad. They see that shit, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Says. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. The babies see that shit, and they know. So if if a kid looks at you and start crying, you need to get your life together. <laughs> you need to get your fucking life together. But that's all. I don't, like I said, that's all I really have. Let me see. Make sure. Uh, any reviews? No. Oh, anybody in the uh, Houston Spring area uh, that's a fan of barbecue, me and my boys found this spot. This white dude at work told me about this spot, this barbecue spot. And I don't know about y'all, but a white dude, an old white dude suggesting barbecue, I'm going to listen. <laughs> I don't know. It's basically in Texas. I'm going to listen. And he, man, he was right. They got a brisket burger, half a pound of beef, right? It's already smoked and shit, but when you order it, they take it and they sear it and do the burger. It's called Third Coast Barbecue. Fire. It's off of Rayford. Right when you get off 45, 
you'll see Rayford, you'll see like a McDonald's and a Sonic turn right there, go straight. It's in a neighborhood. You don't, I didn't even know. I passed this bitch every day and I never knew it was a restaurant. I thought it was just a house, but I'm also oblivious sometimes. Actually, ever since I've been sober, like I'd be on shit, I'd be seeing shit and I'd be like, whoa. But uh, definitely if you're in this area, and you want some good barbecue, I definitely recommend Third Coast Barbecue. That shit was fire. And if y'all ever, as the people who work there to ever hear this, you will be seeing me again. So that's all I really got for y'all. Like I said, my end's going to be short and sweet, but I'm about to call my boy E. Actually, let me, I'm going to play these, uh, these things for y'all. So y'all know, let's see. Here's the first one. You've obviously never been ice fishing before. No, I haven't. Well, it's fucking exhilarating. <laughs> Y'all know what that's from? I bet you don't. One of the funniest movies ever. That's like, that's like nine or ten gulps. I mean, you couldn't tell that was ketchup? Did I stutter? I'm blind. <laughs> You're having a tough time. That one, I feel like that one should be easy. I feel like that one should be easy. I gave him a couple of easy ones this time because it's been a couple of weeks. Just because you see a black man driving in a nice car does not mean it's stolen. I stole that one, but not because I'm black. Uh, that's his boy, Will Smith, so hopefully he gets that one, but I hope he doesn't. Because he's always talking about how much he loves Will Smith. So hopefully he gets that one. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. That's one of the hardest fucking lines in movie history. Hold on, just in case you didn't hear it. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. He didn't even look. I remember. Homeboy told him, you're hit. You're bleeding. He said, I ain't got time to bleed. He didn't even look at the fucking wound. Like, that's the hardest fucking shit. Wiggle your big toe. That one should be hard. Wiggle your big toe. That one should be hard, but I, I know my boy, and I know he's going to get that one. Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. I gave him some short ones. Catnip. That's a no mind. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get that one. It's kind of short. Catnip. That's a no mind. Oh, hold on. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Fuck. So let me call that nigga. Let me call him. See if he ready. Where we at? I think because the last time I did it, I had my boy Jay on. And then the time before that, I had my boy Chris on. So now it's time to get back to the OG. He's had a couple weeks. He's had a couple weeks to prepare. <clears throat> Hello. OG Triple OG. What they do? The, it? the original movie trivia guest. He's back. He's yes, sir. Back. back up in this bitch. Hey, bro. I had fun last night, bro. Yeah, last night was dope. Oh shit! I, I lied. So I was saying I didn't do anything new. We went. Hey, tell him about that barbecue spot. I was just telling him about it. Tell him about it. It was a triple C barbecue. Tomorrow for Rayford or some shit. But that man fucking was fire. Had boudin, had burgers. Boudin was had good. mac and cheese. The mac and cheese, the the ribs, all of it, dog. Uh, yeah, me and this yeah. nigga went to uh, anime. It was a hentai bar, first of all. Yeah, it was an, not. Was well, the bottom part bar. was. Well, yeah. The I bottom guess. part has some anime shit in there, but it was definitely hentai. It was nothing but titties and shit. I'm not complaining. It was great. Actually, let me see if I can find the name. <laughs> is that a. Do I hear Teddy Mason? That is Patty. Let me, let me say what's up. Hey, what's up? What it do? What's up, nigga? What it do? Say, say what's up she, to the pod. She, Oh, she hey, Todd me. World, it's your girl T coming to you live. Don't what's nobody, up, what's nobody up? calls her T. Nobody calls her. Not, T. One, person, <laughs> not one fucking person You're calls her. Brand T. new, whatever. <laughs> but I will tell you one thing. Uh, she she heard hentai bar and she gave me. I don't want fucking Chipotle, man. She she heard hentai bar and her ears perked up. 
Yeah, and she looked at me like, I know what a fucking hentai bar is. That's where you went. I've, I've, so now seen, she's gonna I've seen your browser history. <laughs> you know, she's going to fucking <laughs> argue with me for the next. Damn, I got Yo, you. Yo, yeah, she said she saw your story. She saw, and saw, your t- and saw the titties on the wall. It's called Zenaku. It's really dope. It's downtown. Do you remember what street it was off of? It was Preston and what? I don't remember. Preston and Maine. That shit, oh, yeah, Preston and Maine. That shit was not, it was pretty dope. Not And the drinks were actually pretty cheap. It wasn't bad. So, yeah. I got uh, eight sounds for you, baby. All right, sounds good. I think I think this one's going to be easy. I don't think you're going to have any trouble with any of these. Ooh, I hope so. Oh, by the way, um, R.I.P. Tim C., man. He passed away back in 07 oh, today. You said Tim C., got you. I don't know how many years it is. Yeah, I was just... Were we in 22? It's what, 15 years? I think so. Maybe I'll, I'll yeah. Close, I'll close the pod with one of his songs. I've been uh, nice. I've been showing Prince love on this one. Nice. I, I mean, I was, what was your topic? Uh, it wasn't really a topic. I was just kind of all over the place. But at the beginning, I was just letting people know if they hadn't heard that Prince soundtrack, Purple Rain. That whole I mean, album. yeah, it's one of those albums you need to listen to before you die. Yeah, that's at just least cool. one. The whole thing. It's a great even, album. Even the songs I don't really like are good. What's nah, the he, homeboy was super talented, dog. Nah, what's the one where he's like, it be like that sometimes. It's supposed to bubble, crazy, right? Dog. Oh, you talking about Tim C? Yeah. 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 It's suppo- nah, it's, it. uh, you talking about it be like that sometimes, bro? Isn't that what he's saying? It's, no, I'm pretty it's, supposed, it's supposed to bubble. To bubble. Yeah, it'd be like that sometime. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm know, combining two maybe, songs. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I think so. so. They don't sound right. So you might be right too, man. Who knows? Oh, man. So, yeah, I'm going to play that for the end. I'm going to say that. But, yeah, you ready for the first one, baby? Yeah, man. Let's just give it a go. All right, here it goes. You've obviously never been ice fishing before. No, I haven't. Well, it's fucking exhilarating. That sounded real bad on my end, dog. Damn, that sounds great. I couldn't get it. It, it, it didn't sound too clear. Let me turn it down. You've obviously never been ice fishing before. Oh, no, I haven't. Well, it's fucking exhilarating. That sound better? <laughs> yeah, it sounds a lot better. <laughs> I feel like I've just seen this and I can't place it. Can I get a hint? Oh, God. Warm up my brain. This is one of those I can't give you a hint because oh, it's going to be that character is super racist. That's the only race. That's the only. He's super racist? Super racist. Every scene he's in, he's being very racist. Everything he's in? Every scene. Every scene he's in, he's very racist in that movie. Oh, man. When, when the movie come out, Oh, I don't know. I'm going to take a guess and say 2011 or 2012. No, it's... Okay, it's, it's a good 10 years. No, 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 no. I, I say 2009, 2010. I'm going to look it up, though. You've always been ice fishing before. It's fucking exhilarating. It's fucking exhilarating. Ah, is it action? It's an action movie? Nah, it's a, it's a comedy. Straight comedy. The if I tell you who the actor is, it's oh gonna, wait, it's gonna go oh to eight you. straight comedy homeboy super racist, super racist. Uh, is that scene. is he is, is he the bald guy? Yes, it's Rob. It's uh, Rob Rob Cordry. Yeah, it's he's Rob the one Cordry. saying you've never been fucking nice. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. I could place this fucking movie, <laughs> but I can't think of the name though. And the what? Uh, there's a scene. I know. There's he, a scene where he drops a bunch of change on the table. And the dude's like, it's like seven dollars. <laughs> Super racist. Oh yes, I know what it is. Yes, it's a fucking classic. I can't believe it. It's a uh, Harold and Two Marks case from Guantanamo Bay. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's dog. As soon as you said Rob Cordry, 
I was like, the one where he's fucking racist is, is yeah. Harold and Kumar, the second one. Like, it's like the, my favorite one of the three. My George Oh, nigga. man. <laughs> oh, I'm serious about that. I'm serious about that Kool-Aid. That's good. That's Kool-Aid. Oh, man. No, he's, he's, hey, oh, he's, hell no. He said, yo, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, that movie's great. Harold and Kumar escaped from Florida. And then he said the fucking, yeah. All right, so you got the first one. Hey, my nigga. Oh, wait, I don't have the applause button up. All right, so um, we're going to go with the second one. That's like that's like nine or ten gulps. I mean, you couldn't tell that was ketchup? Did I stutter? I'm blind. You're having a tough time. Could you hear it? That's definitely Will Smith. Uh, not Will Smith. <laughs> it's definitely Will Ferrell, right? Right. He's the blind one. I am blind. What did you really get? That's like five. What do you say? Six and seven gold. <laughs> uh, this is newer, huh? This one ever knew it was new. His later movie? Mm, no. It's definitely after like. Oh, so it's not after um, Talladega Nights? It's before? It's after. He did Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights. Step Brothers, other guys. Those three, I remember, like, came back to back to back. Of course, there's Blades of Fury. That's not it. Damn. I know it's Will Ferrell. I know it was played again. That's like... It's like nine or ten gulps. I mean, you couldn't tell that was ketchup. Did I stutter? I'm blind. You're having a tough time. It came out in 2013. I didn't know that. It's like nine or ten gulps. <laughs> I feel like if you, if you can uh, figure out who's saying that, you'll get it. Yeah, I'm trying. That's what I'm trying. Like, I can't figure it out. It's like nine or ten gulps. I mean, you couldn't tell that was ketchup. Did I stutter? I'm the It's Paul Rudd, right? Right. You're That's having a Paul tough time. Rudd. So this is Anchorman 2? Yep. Anchorman 2. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember when he went blind. Maybe when she divorced him or some shit. I don't remember. But, yeah. It was like a... Ice fix or ice skating accident or some shit. Huh? He got blind like an ice oh, skating something happened accident to, Man, hey. me and Sati saw that movie when it came out. I, I think we rented it. I fuck with Anchorman too. That was fucking hilarious. It's funny, man. That shit's fucking hilarious. When all, when all of the fucking news anchors show up, bro. Oh, yeah, Kanye West is like, this is MTV News. <laughs> that, that, ain't, that ain't badly. And that was your boy, too. Your boy's in it, too. He's in that Will scene. Smith. Hell yeah, your favorite actor. You ready for three? Uh, uh, who else is in there? That's a bunch of people. Ben Stiller's in it. Ben, uh, no, Ben Stiller's not in that fight, is he? Uh, he's he's in the first one, right? He plays the Spanish newscaster. Yeah, John C. Riley's like the uh, ghost of Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, let me have your soul, son. And then Harrison oh, Ford's man. a fucking vampire. <laughs> I mean, uh, werewolf. Oh, and the werewolf. The werewolf just showed up out of nowhere, bro. I remember him saying that. Jim Carrey is the Canadian, oh, the Canadian newscasters. That's just dope. Mm-hmm. They did their fucking thing. He said, uh, what did he say? Uh, Harrison Ford turned into a werewolf, and Kanye West was like, I got to call Michael Jackson. I got an idea. Yeah, I got an idea. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, was, man. was that three or four? That was. That was two. Just because you see a black Ooh. man driving in a nice car does not mean it's stolen. Uh. I stole that one, but not because I'm black. <laughs> Men in Black Three. Hell yeah! I knew you were gonna get that one, bro. I knew he was gonna get that one. That was a funny ass scene. I no, thought, that movie's great. Yeah, it's better than two. I didn't really like two. Like as far like I that's, love, that's I love good, all three. But yeah, two is my least favorite one. Is what I mean. Yeah, definitely. Because I remember being young and I was like, "Yo, this pale ass lady is like making me feel funny." 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like a Victoria's Secret model or something. I don't know. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. That's easy, bro. If you don't get that, I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> a predator. Yep. Yes. Sir. <laughs> yes. Sir. Me. I ain't got time Fuck. to bleed. That's one of the hardest fucking lines in an action dog, movie, dog. That's Schindler's List, bro, right? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to put another comedy on there, so I didn't go with Schindler's List. Jesus, you're horrible. <laughs> Yeah, Predator, bro. If you never seen Predator, fuck you. Predator, right. man. It's a Next great movie. <laughs> that should be the title Wicked of this Wicked one. Wicked. What'd you say? Wicked. Oh, Kill Bill. God, my nigga. My nigga. See, I gotta, I gotta make it harder for you next time. Yeah, like but you're picking that, some of my favorite movies. I feel like the average Like, these person, are some of my favorite ones to watch. The average person would have trouble with some of these, probably. Probably the wiggle my toe. But that's such an epic scene. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. And then, um, do the, whole the part where she was like, I was sitting in the back of Buck's truck. I was going to do that whole thing. I was like, nah, it's way He can't give that away because yeah. uh, <laughs> Pussy Wagon gives it away. Yeah, well, that's way too easy. What were you about to say? Um, nah, these are like my favorite movies, bro. I think all of them, but one I, I've watched probably on a regular basis. Uh, fucking, uh, what was the first one? The first one, uh, uh, Harold and Kumar 2. I just watched the Harold and Kumar last I, week. I haven't seen the Christmas one in a while. I don't think I've seen it since, like, it came out yeah, in theaters. It's all right, bro. We should stream it. I'm down. Um. I don't know if you can, though. I mean, we can put it on Twitch. I just don't know if I can put it on You got to find some free, some free domain shit. Bless you, but I'm, can you see I'm recording that? something? What the fuck Can you see I'm recording noise? something? Did you step I'm on fucking the dog's doing foot? something. Tati, I'm doing something. Respect it. That was Respect Tati. my face. Like yeah, Tati is fucking... Foot. Tati got out of her cage and she's fucking acting the ass and I have to get her back in there. Go to your room. Go to go. <laughs> Cora, go to your room now. Cora looked up. <laughs> oh, not you. You're good. <laughs> oh my She's goodness. Like, what the fuck did I do? All right. Uh, what was that? Five. Let's, let's see if you get six. Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. And I thought it was the Iron Man, but which Iron Man is it? Is it the first Avengers? Yeah. Or he's Talking to Loki or That's Scarlet when, Witch? Uh, when, uh, it's the first Avengers when Captain America's like, take when off the, the suit. And what oh, yeah, on. yeah. And yeah, like, yeah, that's what it is. And uh, Black Widow's like, oh, shit, yeah, he's right. <laughs> he's right, yeah. He, I mean, he's got all that. <laughs> it's just funny, bro. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Um, I never fucked with Bucky, Iron Man. Shut it! I never fucked with Iron Man until... The live action shit, like those cartoons were whack um, to me. His comics were whack to me. I liked the, I didn't like the older comic, but <clears throat> I hear some of his are pretty good because they tackle like him being an alcoholic and shit. Pretty dope. Yeah, I, knew, I was like, "There's way cooler dudes," because he's just a guy. In yeah, a suit. like I can go read Batman, watch a guy in a suit beat the shit out of people. All right, here's uh, be like that. number seven. That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. Play again. Catnip. That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. Did you hear what he said? It's pretty quick. Did you say catnip? Hold on, that's not mine. Yeah. And someone was about to say, hold on. The music is funky. Catnip. That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. That's it, no mind. Is that how he's saying it? Yeah, he's got an accent. I can't tell you that. Play it again. Because it's going to be too easy. Catnip. That's a no mind. Hold on. Comedy, right? What? It's a comedy? Yes. Yes. What year? Ooh. I'm going to take a guess. And say 2007. 
Okay. That's my guess. We went to see. Ooh, I was way off. 2004. Damn, it's the old one. Damn. When Is it? The... Does it have anybody from Saturday Night Saturday Night Live in it? Uh, let me see. Let me see the cast. Any alumni? I guarantee the, you the, main the best guy, season. Yeah, two, I guarantee you two of the main characters have been on Saturday Night Live, and one of like them, they hosted it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure a lot of these people have been on Saturday Night Live. Two of the main characters. But, 2004. Uh, I want to see when the first one came out now. Oh, man. So is this straight comedy? Comedy fantasy. That's what it's. Uh, Labeled as comedy fantasy. First one came out in 2001. Damn, they came out with the second one quick on that one. Oh, so it's a sequel? Yeah. It's one of those where they should have stopped at the sequel. Oh, should have stopped at the sequel? How many movies were that? That's uh, no mind. Hold on. I don't know now. I've seen three of them, but I can tell you how many there are now. And you said the first one came out in 2001? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. So not like American Pie. No, American Pie is one of the goats, though. Shout out to Stifler's mom. Um, she looks awful now, dude. You see her in White Lotus? White Lotus. What is that? It's a show on HBO Max. It's pretty good. It's wild as fuck, bro. No. Um, Last thing I seen she's her a, was she's so in it. Man. And, and she's her, in her eyes are all fucked up, bro. Yeah, she looks horrible. She's in uh, Two Broke Men or Two Broke Girls. Say that shit again. Catnip. That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. 2001. The, this is the one, first one. Yeah, yeah, this one came out in 2004. And it's fantasy, right? Yeah. Fantasy like what? Like I, medieval I, fantasy or like space fantasy? That's all you get, bro. I give you, I give you a lot of hints already. Damn, Tati can't help you either. Shut your ass up. <laughs> was it neither? No, it was a. Shut up. <laughs> it wasn't. You give Tati up. Tati's fucking ruined. Nah, man, go to the next one. I'm gonna come back to. That. I can't give up yet. No one likes to show off. Dude, where's my no, thought? That's what Shut. Is dope as fuck. Shut the fuck up, Tati. Fuck. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Fuck. No one likes to show Is that The Rock saying that? No. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing Play off it again. is dope as fuck. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Fuck. He goes, he goes fuck, he's right. <laughs> I, I didn't get the he's right part. But he's like, fuck, that's true. Damn, I feel like I know this one. When I tell you, I'm going to shout out something else, too. That's what he's showing off. It's dope as fuck. This should be easy. I feel like I've seen this. I feel like you've seen both of these. Give me a hint. Fuck. Uh, let's see. I don't know, dog. I feel like if I give you a hint, it's going to make it easy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll tell you when it came out. When did it come out? Recently, huh? I say 2021. Maybe 2020. 2021. Yeah, maybe 2020. Yeah, 2021. Say it again. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Say it one more time. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Fuck. 
Is it animated? No. No, huh? Tis not. Oh, man. Shout out to that nigga. I was gonna say. Shout out to that nigga, Zo. He made this hoodie. If you need and some I was gonna fucking. I was gonna go made. off the wall and say Deadpool 2, but I don't think that's in Deadpool 2. It's not Deadpool 2, but you're like. Knock, knock, knocking on the like door. Shout out to Zo, man. But who? And the Zo show. Who curses like that, though? If you can uh, guess that, if you can get that actor, fuck. you got it. Fuck. That's right. You give up? No, I don't want to give up, bro. <sighs> Not the boy. Because that's a TV show. You wouldn't do that to me. Curses. If I did TV show... It would be all. Huh? If I did TV show, it would be all workaholics quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, doc. And you had to name the episode. It'd be workaholics be... quotes and American Dad. <laughs> American it. Dad, I can do. <laughs> I know those characters. Oh, I've fuck, been watching man. the Bernie Mac show though on Hulu, dog. That shit's fucking good. That's a good fucking show, dog. That nigga is hilarious. Was hilarious. R.I.P. So is it a Suicide Watch? Not Suicide Watch. Suicide Squad? Yep. Suicide Squad uh, 2. Is it over? Yep. Yeah. This nigga, did, did you... The fuck, did, he's right. Did you Google movies that came out in 2021? No. No, I, I, I swear <laughs> to you, I would never do that. I swear to you, I'd never do that. I was thinking of... You know what? How I, you want to hear how I broke it down? Hmm. I heard the flip or some shit. It sounded like someone dropped. And then I, I heard the curse words. And I was like, there's not that many movies that I would have seen that curse like that in the past two years. Because I've been watching nothing but fucking Disney movies. It's the so, scene, like, it had it. It's the scene where they're going through the camp and they're, like, they're chilling. In the jungle, right? It's, yeah. Both of them are going the back guy, and forth. He shoots the guy. He's like, non-lethal. That doesn't count. And that sound you hear, he's like, comp- uh, explosive compressive bullets. That sound you hear in the beginning is the guy blowing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. But, yeah, Peacemaker, bro, that's a good fucking show. Oh, Peacemaker is a great show. Oh, man. John Cena acted his ass off. Like He showed He's emotion. a funny-ass actor, dude. He was funny, yeah. but it was sad too. That shit was fucking sad, bro. It nah, when, when he got to, when when they had those like serious moments about like he didn't really remember like certain shit, and, and he was like, I'm the, "It was it was murder. fucking good." So I can't kill people without the fucking dove on the on the gun, man. <laughs> All right, so you, yeah, man, you, you seven for eight right now. Yeah, Alright, go back one. to that one. That cat in cat in That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold up. That's uh, no mind. Play it again, dog. Play it. Play it. Catnip. That's a uh, no mind. Oh, hold up. Catnip. That's a uh, no mind. Oh, hold up. Fuck, bro. It's killing me. And you said I've seen it. Of course you've seen it. I know you've seen it. Everyone our age has seen this movie multiple times. <clears throat> 2001. 2004. 2004, and it's a sequel. See, see, senor. Was that racist? Fucking hey, dog. I know you, man. Catnip. That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. Let me tell you. I want to give a guess. It's a wild guess. Um. Movie that they shouldn't, they should have stopped after the second one, right? First one came out in 2001, second one came out in 2004. He's googling movies that came out. I'm not googling <laughs> shit, fuck you. Stalling, I haven't, bro. I'm a man, I'm a man of integrity. He's stalling, that's why he's typing. Your shit right now. I'll fucking do this shit. Let's I'm telling it. you, dog, when I do these, when I do these. Trivia facts, I'm like fucking homeboy from uh, uh, Hangover. Like I'm man. counting the numbers and shit. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like fucking Rain Man. So let's hear what you got. Oh, man. 
I can't. I, I man. Uh, fuck. Shit. 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 Oh, you want me to tell you? <laughs> You're Tati no. at y'all evil and shit. God yeah, damn. Tati's fucking getting under my skin, bro. Let her try. Let her hear it. Man, look. Play it. Hey, Tati, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, is he Googling the answers? No, he's not. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Here, listen. Play it. <laughs> God damn. That's a uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get catnip. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but he's, it's a fantasy comedy. You want me to tell 2004. you? 2004. I'm about to tell you. Yeah, yeah man. Tell me. Shrek 2. Shrek 2. It's the scene oh, where it's when they get pulled arrested. over by the cops. Yeah. <laughs> and then, if you notice, the fucking knight puts a knee on fucking Eddie Murphy, the donkey, yeah, on donkey. Yeah, dog. It's and then fucking, fucking Shrek's like, yo, man, what the fuck? I didn't do this shit. And instead, of, instead of helicopters, they got fucking uh, hot air balloons. <laughs> you know what's fucked up, bro? We don't watch any of the Shrek sequels. Uh, Selena only watches the first one. Oh, man, I don't know why. Good, but though. Nah, the second one is good. Nah, I'm not knocking that at all, but... That's where they go to Far, Far Away. Yeah, that's, that's where he turns into a human for his in-laws. Yeah, it's Far, Far Away, P.E. And, and his dad ends up being a fucking frog. And, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Nah, it's a pretty good... I Actually, actually, it's not bad, but yeah, I ain't seen that. Man, the part of this came out. Yeah, that's, that's one yeah, of them. Watch, watch Sel- Selena won't watch it. That's how I know. Uh, fairy godmother, no? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen it. It's just, hey, I don't fairy, think... Um, the fairy godmother kind of bad, too. Oh, you're such a fucking pervert, bro. She kind of bad. Oh, my God. Who? The, the, God, the fairy godmother is kind of <laughs> bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> she kind of bad. That's why I always do that hentai place. Oh, nasty. Ass. That's not hentai, actually, because it's... We didn't know it was hentai until after the fact. Right there, dude. <laughs> and you're not about to make me feel bad for that. I love, I love hentai titties. <laughs> I like, I mean, I like eating octopus. I like whoa, anime. Whoa, hey, whoa, That's this ain't that kind of. Let me see. Oh, yeah, fairy but... godmother, fine, bro. I just Googled her, bro. She looked nah, good, bro. bro. He just Googled her fairy godmother hentai porn. Nah, I, 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 I'm sure it's out there. I bet I'm it is. I'm sure that's out there. She bad. This might actually. I said that the prince was gonna be the cover. She might be the cover now. Nah, about. the cover needs to be of me fucking. You fucking backhand and Sati in the cage. Send me that pic. Sati, get in your cage. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling just fine. Fairly godparent. God, I'm mean, fairly godmother. Kind of fine, oh. bro. Bro, that's weird. Are you going to watch The Last of Us? Or you could just watch me play the game and get the same thing. What are you talking about? Yeah. You're talking to me or her? Her. She's watching the trailer for The Last of Us on this deal. It a, looks amazing. Is there a new trailer? In the new trailer. It's like the full trailer of what's going on. Homegirl looks really young. <clears throat> they show the clickers, bro. Dope. I'm have to check that uh, out. It looks it look good, too. Everything was good. Well, you went eight for seven, bro. That's good for your first time back. I don't know. I feel people be, you know, trying to do what I do until they get on here. And they're like, oh, shit, this is kind of (laughs) hard. Well, I appreciate you answering, bro. Sorry it took so long to to call you. No, you're good. I was going to try to get some wings. Again? But I thought they were like, nah, nigga, you going to eat. Fuck. You learned your lesson? Fuck. Nah, I want to, I want more pain. I just finished my leftovers before I recorded them. Shits is fire. Fire, bro. Air fries. Well, I love you, dog. But yeah, man. Keep working Appreciate on the right. Following, bro. Man. Keep doing your thing, bro. I'm proud of yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go follow my boy. It's, it's in the clouds, ENT, right? Yeah, underscore ENT. Go follow my boy. So, my writer profile. Oh damn! They got everybody in this hole. All right, brother. Is that fucking Joey Badass? That's not Joey Badass. Well, shit. He did a good job. That was dope. Now I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do the fairy godmother 
a Prince album as the cover because, hey, she kind of bad, bro. I don't know why the DreamWorks and Pixar, they make the mom so fine. Like, I'm sitting here watching Incredibles 2, and I'm like, why am I being aroused in a kid's movie? Like, this isn't okay. Like, why do they make her? They knew what they were doing. Like, and y'all know what I'm talking about, too. Don't don't look at me like that. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Because you was probably like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Miss Incredible. That shit looks incredible. But... Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate you listening. It's been another episode of Recognize Real. And uh, I'm going to play a little UGK to, to uh, end this thing. But before I do, just remember, keep grinding and keep working towards your dreams, please. Because it only makes me want to work harder, too. <laughs>